Belarusian company Unmanned Helicopters has launched the Skytruck, a new heavy transport unmanned helicopter, into serial production. Russia plans to deploy 22 aircraft, particularly in Arctic regions where autonomous aviation and reliable logistics are crucial. This breakthrough represents an important step in the emergence of unmanned transport aviation, which is capable of managing complex tasks without the necessity of operators. The initiative has been launched at a time when the global demand for heavy-duty unmanned aerial systems is on the rise. It is anticipated that these machines will replace manned helicopters in operations where human participation is either dangerous or expensive due to environmental risks or logistical challenges. Skytruck addresses these requirements and symbolizes a transition toward increased technological autonomy for the nations that are involved in its development and deployment. The program's strategic aspect is the use of domestically available technologies, particularly in light of the current geopolitical constraints. Skytruck was initially developed as an unmanned alternative to crude helicopters that were employed to supply offshore oil and gas platforms. Such missions pose a significant risk to human pilots due to the unpredictable sea conditions, harsh weather, and remote work environments. Operators can deliver critical supplies without jeopardizing lives with an unmanned system. The aircraft is capable of transporting a maximum of 600 kilograms of payload and has a maximum takeoff weight of 2.35 tons. The helicopter has a maximum flight range of 480 kilometers and can remain airborne for up to four hours. Skytruck is well suited for logistical operations in remote regions with limited infrastructure, such as the Arctic and Siberia, as well as offshore missions due to its combination of endurance and cargo capacity. By mounting a specialized cargo container beneath the fuselage, it safeguards transported products from the environment including extreme cold and moisture. The unmanned helicopter is built with a traditional single main rotor configuration and a tail rotor, which provides predictable performance and reliable hovering stability in strong wind conditions. The system is capable of landing and taking off from unprepared sites, including compacted snow, icy fields, and small clearings. This adaptability enables it to operate in regions that are beyond the reach of conventional aviation. One of the most technologically demanding and costly missions today in aviation is the maintenance of logistics in the Arctic. To mitigate the risks associated with limited visibility, storms, icing, and magnetic anomalies that affect navigation, Crewed helicopters necessitate extensive support infrastructure, trained flight crews, and costly safety measures. An unmanned aircraft eliminates the direct risk to personnel and gradually reduces operational costs. The Skytruck is capable of maintaining precise flight trajectories in conditions where numerous crewed helicopters are required to remain grounded, thanks to automation and advanced onboard navigation systems. Such technology is no longer optional. It is essential for the long-term development of the Arctic, energy security, and emergency preparedness. The selection of a power plant has been one of the most significant engineering challenges in the development of Skytruck. The helicopter was initially designed to use British-designed Rolls-Royce 250 turboshaft engines, which have been a long-standing standard for light civil helicopters. Nevertheless, the developers opted to incorporate a domestically available engine solution as a result of the limited access to Western aerospace components and support. This prompted the evaluation of the VK650V turboshaft engine, which is manufactured in Russia. The VK650V is intended to guarantee complete logistical and technical autonomy from foreign suppliers for helicopters weighing up to four tons. There is more to the transition to this new engine architecture than a supply chain decision. It has a significant impact on the aircraft's service life, mission capabilities, and performance. The Rolls-Royce 250 engine is known for its dependability, as demonstrated by its decades of successful service in commercial and military applications worldwide. 
Nevertheless, its performance characteristics are indicative of a previous technology generation. The VK650V, on the other hand, is a more modern approach to helicopter propulsion systems that has been specifically designed to meet the current operational needs, such as extended missions and high-latitude environments. The Rolls-Royce 250 family typically produces between 420 and 450 horsepower, depending on the specific model. The VK650V is capable of maintaining flight in dense or exceptionally cold air conditions due to its substantial increase in horsepower, which directly impacts vertical lift, rate of climb, and the helicopter's overall performance. These improvements in performance are especially advantageous in Arctic logistics, where safety margins must remain expansive and each kilogram of payload is crucial. Fuel efficiency is also a critical factor in long-range missions. The VK650V is designed to accommodate extended flight durations while simultaneously reducing fuel consumption per minute of operation in comparison to antiquated Western engines. This enables the Skytruck to preserve its optimum operational range in low-temperature environments where engines typically consume more fuel or when the payload is increased. Both support and maintenance are equally critical. Operators would encounter major challenges in obtaining long-term support given that the Rolls-Royce power plant no longer has accessible service infrastructure in the region where Skytrucks are intended to be deployed. The VK650V is designed to fit into the local aerospace service system, making it easier to get spare parts, repairs, diagnostics, and upgrades throughout its entire life. The VK650V has undergone an additional major technological upgrade with the implementation of a contemporary FADEC digital engine control system. It ensures better safety, improved thrust control, and smoother power changes through advanced monitoring and automatic adjustments. This functionality is essential for unmanned aircraft, as the power plant must function consistently without human intervention. Older Rolls-Royce engines had fuel control systems that weren't as precise or flexible as this one. Combined, these developments established the VK650V as a power plant that has the potential to greatly improve the mission readiness, endurance, and environmental survivability of Skytruck. Nevertheless, the integration of a new engine necessitates an exhaustive testing phase. Until the VK650V completes its validation cycle, early production aircraft may continue to rely on engines that have already been certified. The engines that will propel the first 22 Skytrucks to enter service have not yet been officially confirmed. A mixed approach is still feasible, with certain aircraft having the potential to be equipped with currently available imported engines, while others could serve as in-service testing platforms for the new VK650V engine. This approach facilitates the progression of serial production while engine integration and certification are ongoing. The VK650V is anticipated to become the standard solution for future production blocks and long-term deployments once it has been completely validated. Not only is Skytruck a new entrant in the unmanned helicopter market, but it also serves as a symbol of the region's evolving industrial collaboration in advanced aerospace technologies. The platform's function is anticipated to be expanded to encompass additional mission types as a result of ongoing development. Specialized operations could include the maintenance of Arctic infrastructure, communication relaying, reconnaissance support, automated resupply for scientific stations, and emergency response. It is probable that nations with an increasing emphasis on remote industrial expansion and polar development will regard heavy unmanned helicopters as indispensable instruments in their long-term strategy. Consequently, the Skytruck program is of strategic and commercial importance as it enhances technological self-reliance and broadens the capabilities of unmanned aviation. In conclusion, the Skytruck marks the beginning of a new era in unmanned helicopter operations, introducing genuine heavy cargo unmanned aviation to regions where conventional aircraft encounter operational constraints.
The project is transitioning into a sustainable solution for Arctic logistics and remote area connectivity, with serial production currently ongoing and a roadmap toward fully domestic power plants. Skytruck could become a strong option for unmanned transport for local and international users facing similar delivery challenges as the VK650V engine is further developed and tested. In a future where sustainable operations and resilient supply lines are critical priorities, heavy unmanned helicopters like the Skytruck will be essential technologies for both national and industrial strategies. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us